our balance and mobility classes are to help you get better balance and also keep and, and gain any mobility that you may have lost. So there's a lot of bending, twisting, squatting. Um, so listen to your body. And the thing about challenging your balance is obviously you do have to get to your limit in order to make gains, right? If you are staying in your safe zone, it's going to be hard to improve um, what you need to improve upon. But with balance, you need to be very safe about it, right? Because you don't want to risk any falls. So there's several modifications that you can do uh, in order to do the same exercises that we are doing, um, but be safe about it. Um, so, so there's different variations of modifications that you can do to make sure that you stay safe. So with our squats, you can always sit all the way down in a chair and then stand up rather than just staying standing and bending your knees. If it's a great challenge, you're going to get the same workout, um, but you'll have a little bit of stability. The other option is to hold on to the back of a chair or a countertop so that you can uh, rest your hands for some balance, still bend back, and lean as you need to. Try not to grip it, and you can do this for all the movements. So for stepping or twisting, you can have that there for balance. Same thing if you have a walker. Some of our exercises we get on the floor. If you cannot get on the floor, don't risk it because we need you to be able to get back up when we're done. You can either do the rest of your workout with our seated routine or there's uh, modifications that you can do for the quadruped movements. So when we're down on all fours, you can always lean forward on a chair and do the same twisting that we do or stepping that we do. Um, without having to get all the way down to the floor. So just leaning as a chair or a countertop would be another way to modify that movement. If you need a little bit more stability, please use a countertop because that's even more stable than a chair. But the nice thing about a chair or a walker does allow you to use one hand or two and still step around it which a countertop does not always do, but you can always turn sideways with the countertop and still get the same stepping that you do. If any of the exercises are too challenging with the stepping, but you still want to work on your balance and twisting, you can always do that. Keep your feet, even if we are, are twisting them or stepping them, you can keep them where they are and work your upper body and work on that weight shifting with your feet in place. That is also going to work on your balance and your core. So again, listen to your body. Do what you can do safely.